I think five to 10 years from now, if you're not doing software development in your engineering firm or architecture firm, uh, you're probably going to be behind. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to interview Robert Putan. He's principal of Core Studio at Content Tomasa. When I talk about machine learning and automation, well, what that means is there is, there will be a subset of the traditional engineering or you know, design community that, um, you know, will be uh, replaced to some extent. Um, um, because because our, our tools will be able to do basically what they do on, on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think the um, the advice would be to to stay ahead. You know, um, I think software development is actually going to be a day-to-day -day, um, um, uh, part of engineering. It's not just you know being know, knowing you know math and science and physics. It's software development is going to be part of the process too. In simple terms, it's going to be automation. Um, so automation of processes. Um, so, you know, and in a way we've, we've targeted, I would say various aspects of, of an engineer's workflow, beam design, column design, you know, shear wall design. And so, but there isn't like one application that you can do everything in and uh, and partially because it's not easy to do. So just doing one of those things is is, you know, months and months of work to get it right um, to get to get it so that engineers trust it. So um, and we're still doing that. So I think we're, we'll continue to do that. Um, but when you tie once you get to that level, then you tie it into machine learning and artificial intelligence. Then you get true automation, right? It's it's uh, um, you know, but we're st we're not completely there yet. I mean, we I don't know if you've seen, but we released Asterisk, which is a machine learning based building design tool, and you know, I still haven't seen a tool like that. You know, it wasn't perfect, but if, if it still can design a building in under a minute, you know, so. Uh, we actually have a swarm app for that now. Um, so I think that's going to be the future of structural engineering. It's going to be um, various, varying degrees of automation um, in our process. The metadata that is um, that is in our BIM models uh, can't be produced on uh, flat sheets of paper. So, so I think what we would try to do or we're trying to do right now, even with some of our core apps, is have a way to communicate um, digitally the same information or actually it's actually more information um, to project managers and senior folks so they, they can you know be a significant part of the process. Um, yeah. How does an organization um, sort of start a core studio like entity. We've always in our in core studio have um, justified our existence by demonstrating very clearly that our return on investment is minimum five. So if they spend a hundred thousand dollars in, in core studio, which is a lot more than that now, um, they're going to get a return of five hundred thousand dollars or more. And that's, you know, you have to make it. The reason why I say five, because, you know, sometimes the return on investment is not about uh, profit making. It's about having happier clients. It's about responding faster to, you know, project design iterations. You know, it's about making, um, again, doing some of those mundane uh, tasks uh, faster so that you can actually do uh, other uh, more creative or more complex things in your process. I think the best advice was um, uh, some advice that uh, you know one of our founders, Charlie Thornton, gave to me when I was a young engineer back in the 90s. And he said, always have a, a vision. Um, you know, have a five-year vision to learn something new every day 
that's that's the goal of like you can't be complacent um and the, you know the minute you think that you are good at something is probably the minute that someone's going to be better than you and the other thing is i think technology will drive the entirety of our industry and so you know so i think um you know and i think that's where the industry is struggling a bit because there's parametric design that does thousands of iterations and then there's people with 30 or 40 years experience telling you to do this do this one you know um but again that's but that's you know the you know that one iteration is, is limiting and the thousands of iterations are time consuming even if it's parametric so there there is somewhere in between there's a balance and there's the right sort of way to you know option your buildings or designs <laughs>